Today on our 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're going to review and install the Kurt Class 3 2-inch receiver to pitch part number C13182. Now here's what our hitch will look like once installed. As you can see, we've got a really nice stylish round cross tube that will come over to our receiver tube. This is our 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube. And on each side we'll have our pre-drilled 5 8 pinhole. We'll also have our chain hold downs. Now this is a fully welded construction with a nice black powder coated finish. And as you can see while it's not completely hidden, it is down below the rear fascia. So it's tucked up underneath the rear bumper. This hitch is capable of up to 500 pounds of tongue weight and 5,000 pound towing capacity. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is 4 inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening down to the ground is 17 inches. This will assist you selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Well, I'll go ahead and show you the few tools that are necessary to install this hitch. We've got our 21 millimeter socket and a ratchet, then a torque wrench. Now let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to install this hitch. Now to begin our install, we'll first go ahead and point out the attachment points. We're going to have a total of four attachment points, two on each side. Now these attachment points are the manufacturer's bolts that go into weld nuts inside the frame. So after we remove the manufacturer's bolts, we'll hang on to them and reuse them to secure the hitch. Now keep in mind that each process we do here on the driver's side is going to get repeated identically on the passenger side as our attachment points and hardware are exactly the same. Now let's go ahead and remove the manufacturer's bolts. Now with all four fasteners removed, we're ready to install our hitch. It's a good idea to get next to the hands to help you hold the hitch while you install your fasteners. We'll take our hitch, feed it up above the exhaust, and line it up with our attachment points. We'll then go ahead and reinstall the manufacturer's bolts. Now as we reinstall the manufacturer's hardware, we'll install each one finger tight until we have them all in place. Once we have them all in place, we can go ahead and tighten them down. After all four fasteners are tightened down, we'll then go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Now with everything installed, tightened down and torqued to specifications, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for the review and install of the Kurt Class 3 2-inch receiver tube hitch part number C13182 on our 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee. 